The Hebrew Bible, also called the Tanakh, Tana K pronounced Ta -kai or T Nax, also Tenach, Tenach, Tanakh, or Micra, is the canonical collection of Jewish texts, which is also the textual source for the Christian Old Testament. These texts are composed mainly in Biblical Hebrew, with some passages in Biblical Aramaic in the books of Daniel, Ezra, and a few others. The form of this text that is authoritative for Rabbinic Judaism is known as the Masoretic Text MT, and is divided into 24 books, while the Protestant Bible translations divide the same material into 39 books. Modern scholars seeking to understand the history of the Hebrew Bible use a range of sources, in addition to the Masoretic Text. These sources include Early Greek Septuagint and Syriac Peshitta translations, the Samaritan Pentateuch, the Dead Sea Scrolls and quotations from rabbinic manuscripts. Many of these sources may be older than the Masoretic text and often differ from it. These differences have given rise to the theory that yet another text, an urtext of the Hebrew Bible, once existed and is the source of the versions extant today. However, such an urtext has never been found, and which of the three commonly known versions Septuagint, Masoretic text, Samaritan Pentateuch is closest to the urtext is not fully determined. <laughs> <laughs> Terminology Tanakh is an acronym of the first Hebrew letter of each of the Masoretic text's three traditional subdivisions, Torah teaching also known as the five books of Moses, Nevim, prophets, and Ketuvim, writings. Hence Tanakh. The books of the Tanakh were passed on by each generation and, according to rabbinic tradition, were accompanied by an oral tradition, called the Oral Torah. The three-part division reflected in the acronym, Tanakh, is well attested in the literature of the rabbinic period. During that period, however, Tanakh was not used. Instead, the proper title was Mikra or Migra, Emkar meaning reading, or that which is read, because the biblical texts were read publicly. Mikra continues to be used in Hebrew to this day, alongside Tanakh, to refer to the Hebrew scriptures. In modern spoken Hebrew, they are interchangeable. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hebrew Bible. Many biblical studies scholars advocate use of the term Hebrew Bible or Hebrew Scriptures as a substitute for less neutral terms with Jewish or Christian connotations e.g. Tanakh or Old Testament. The Society of Biblical Literature's Handbook of Style, which is the standard for major academic journals like the Harvard Theological Review and conservative Protestant journals like the Bibliotheca Sacra and the Westminster Theological Journal, suggests that authors be aware of the connotations of alternative expressions such as Hebrew Bible and Old Testament, without prescribing the use of either. Alistair McGrath points out that while the term emphasizes that it is largely written in Hebrew and is sacred to the Hebrew people, it fails to do justice to the way in which Christianity sees an essential continuity between the Old and New Testaments, arguing that there is no generally accepted alternative to the traditional term, Old Testament. Quote, However, he accepts that there is no reason why non-Christians should feel obliged to refer to these books as the Old Testament. Apart from custom of use, in terms of theology, Christianity has recognized the close relationship between the Old and New Testaments from its very beginnings, although there have sometimes been movements like Martianism viewed as heretical by the early Church, that have struggled with it. Modern Christian formulations of this tension include supersessionism, covenant theology, new covenant theology, dispensationalism and dual covenant theology. All of these formulations, except some forms of dual covenant theology, are objectionable to mainstream Judaism and to many Jewish scholars and writers, for whom there is one eternal covenant between God and the Israelites, and who therefore reject the term Old Testament as a form of antinomianism. In terms of canon, Christian usage of Old Testament does not refer to a universally agreed upon set of books but, rather, varies depending on denomination. Lutheranism and Protestant denominations that follow the Westminster Confession of Faith accept the entire Jewish canon as the Old Testament without additions, although in translation they sometimes give preference to the Septuagint LXX rather than the Masoretic text, for example, see Isaiah 7 verse 14. 
In terms of language, Hebrew refers to the original language of the books, but it may also be taken as referring to the Jews of the Second Temple era and Jewish diaspora, and their descendants, who preserved the transmission of the Masoretic text up to the present day. The Hebrew Bible includes small portions in Aramaic mostly in the books of Daniel and Ezra, written and printed in Aramaic square script, which was adopted as the Hebrew alphabet after the Babylonian exile. Development and codification There is no scholarly consensus as to when the Hebrew Bible canon was fixed. Some scholars argue that it was fixed by the Hasmonean dynasty, while others argue it was not fixed until the 2nd century CE or even later. According to Lewis Ginsburg's Legends of the Jews, the 24 book canon of the Hebrew Bible was fixed by Ezra and the scribes in the Second Temple period. According to the Talmud, much of the Tanakh was compiled by the men of the Great Assembly, a task completed in 450 BCE, and it has remained unchanged ever since, the 24-book canon is mentioned in the Midrash Koheleth 1212, whoever brings together in his house more than 24 books brings confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Language and pronunciation The original writing system of the Hebrew text was an abjad, consonants written with some applied vowel letters. Matres lectionis. During the early Middle Ages scholars known as the Masoretes created a single formalized system of vocalization. This was chiefly done by Aaron ben Moses ben Asher, in the Tiberius school, based on the oral tradition for reading the Tanakh, hence the name Tiberian vocalization. It also included some innovations of ben Naphtali and the Babylonian exiles. Despite the comparatively late process of codification, some traditional sources and some Orthodox Jews hold the pronunciation and cantillation to derive from the revelation at Sinai, since it is impossible to read the original text without pronunciations and cantillation pauses. The combination of a text pronunciation and cantillation enable the reader to understand both the simple meaning and the nuances in sentence flow of the text. Topic. Books of the Tanakh The Tanakh consists of 24 books, it counts as one book each Samuel, Kings, Chronicles and Ezra-Nehemiah and counts the twelve minor prophets tri -senior as a single book. In Hebrew, the books are often referred to by their prominent first words. Topic. Torah. The Torah, Torah literally, teaching, also known as the Pentateuch, or as the five books of Moses. Printed versions rather than scrolls of the Torah are often called Chemisha Chumshe Torah, Hamish Humzi Twer, five fifth sections of the Torah, and informally a Chumash. Bereshit, Bereziat literally, in the beginning. Genesis, Shemot, Simwat literally, the names of Exodus. Vayikra, Vayikira literally, and he called. Leviticus Bemidbar, Bemidebra literally, in the desert of. Numbers Devarim, Debarim literally, things, or words. Deuteronomy Nevim Nevim, Nebiyim, Nebiyim, prophets is the second main division of the Tanakh, between the Torah and Ketuvim. It contains three sub-groups. This division includes the books which cover the time from the entrance of the Israelites into the land of Israel until the Babylonian captivity of Judah the period of prophecy. Their distribution is not chronological, but substantive. The former prophets Enbiyam Arsnim Nevim Rishonim Yehoshua Yehoshua Joshua Shothim — Sopadim Judges Shmuel — Semuel Samuel Malakim — Melakim Kings The Latter Prophets Enbiyam Hernim Nevim Aharonim Yeshayahu — Yeseav Isaiah Yirmyahu — Yirimav Jeremiah Yekeskiel — Yehazikael Ezekiel Twelve Minor Prophets, Tri Senior Tre Asar, The Twelve, which are considered one book Hoshe, 
Wozea Hosea Yoel Ywoel Joel Amos Amwos Amos Ovidia Obadiah Obadiah Yona Yavona Jonah Micah 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 Nakam Nawam Nahum Kavakuk Habakuk Habakuk Sephania Zephaniah Zephaniah Kagai Hage Hagai Zakaria Zekaria Zekariah Malachi Maliki Malachi Topic Ketuvim Ketuvim writings consists of 11 books described below they are also divided into three subgroups based on the distinctiveness of Sifere Emmet and Hamesh Megillat. The three poetic books Sifere Emmet Tehillim Tehillim Psalms Mishli Misalei Proverbs Iyob Iwab Job the Five Megillat, Hamesh Megillat These books are read aloud in the synagogue on particular occasions, the occasion listed below in parenthesis. Shir Hashirim, Sire Hasirim literally. Song of Songs, also known as Song of Solomon, Song of Songs on Passover, Ruth, Ruth, Ruth on Shavuot, Aika, Aika Lamentations on Tisha B'Av, Kahalath, Kohale Ecclesiastes on Sukkot, Esther, Eseder Esther on Purim, other books, Daniel, 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 Ezra, Ezra, Ezra and Nehemiah, Divrei Hayamim. Deberei Hayamim chronicles the Jewish textual tradition never finalized the order of the books in Ketuvim. The Babylonian Talmud, Bava Batra 14b, 15a, gives their order as Ruth, Psalms, Job, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Lamentations of Jeremiah, Daniel, Scroll of Esther, Ezra, Chronicles. In Tiberian Masoretic codices, including the Aleppo Codex and the Leningrad Codex, and often in Old Spanish manuscripts as well, the order is Chronicles, Psalms, Job, Proverbs, Ruth, Song of Solomon, Ecclesiastes, Lamentations of Jeremiah, Esther, Daniel, Ezra. Topic. Poetic books In Masoretic manuscripts and some printed editions, Psalms, Proverbs and Job are presented in a special two-column form emphasizing the parallel stitches in the verses, which are a function of their poetry. Collectively, these three books are known as Sifere Emmet an acronym of the titles in Hebrew, Yub Emsli Thalim yields Emmet M. T which is also the Hebrew for truth. These three books are also the only ones in Tanakh with a special system of cantillation notes that are designed to emphasize parallel stitches within verses. However, the beginning and end of the Book of Job are in the normal prose system. Topic: <laughs> Five Scrolls, Hamesh Megillat. The five relatively short books of the Song of Songs, the Book of Ruth, the Book of Lamentations, Ecclesiastes and the Book of Esther are collectively known as the Hamesh Megillat, five Megillat. These are the latest books collected and designated as authoritative in the Jewish canon, with the latest parts having dates ranging into the 2nd century BCE. These scrolls are traditionally read over the course of the year in many Jewish communities. The list below presents them in the order they are read in the synagogue on holidays, beginning with the Song of Solomon at Passover. Other books Besides the three poetic books and the five scrolls, the remaining books in Ketuvim are Daniel, Ezra Nehemiah and Chronicles. Although there is no formal grouping for these books in the Jewish tradition, they nevertheless share a number of distinguishing characteristics. Their narratives all openly describe relatively late events i.e. the Babylonian captivity and the subsequent restoration of Zion. The Talmudic tradition ascribes late authorship to all of them. Two of them Daniel and Ezra, are the only books in Tanakh with significant portions in Aramaic. Topic translations The Holy Scriptures According to the Masoretic Text, a new translation with the aid of previous versions and with the constant consultation of Jewish authorities was published in 1917 by the Jewish Publication Society. 
It was replaced by their Tanakh in 1985 Tanakh, Jewish Publication Society, 1985, ISBN 0-8276-0252-9 Tanakh, The Stone Edition, Hebrew with English Translation, Mesora Publications, 1996, ISBN 0-89906-269-5, named after benefactor Irving I. Stone. Tanakh Ram, an ongoing translation to modern Hebrew 2010 by Avraham Ahuvia Ram Publishing House Limited and Miskal Limited. <inaudible> <inaudible> Jewish commentaries There are two major approaches towards study of, and commentary on, the Tanakh. In the Jewish community, the classical approach is religious study of the Bible, where it is assumed that the Bible is divinely inspired. Another approach is to study the Bible as a human creation. In this approach, biblical studies can be considered as a sub-field of religious studies. The later practice, when applied to the Torah, is considered heresy by the Orthodox Jewish community. As such, much modern-day Bible commentary written by non-Orthodox authors is considered forbidden by rabbis teaching in Orthodox yeshivas. Some classical rabbinic commentators, such as Abraham ibn Ezra, Gersonides, and Maimonides, used many elements of contemporary biblical criticism, including their knowledge of history, science, and philology. Their use of historical and scientific analysis of the Bible was considered acceptable by historic Judaism due to the author's faith commitment to the idea that God revealed the Torah to Moses on Mount Sinai. The modern Orthodox Jewish community allows for a wider array of biblical criticism to be used for biblical books outside of the Torah, and a few Orthodox commentaries now incorporate many of the techniques previously found in the academic world, e.g. the Da'at Migra series. Non-Orthodox Jews, including those affiliated with conservative Judaism and Reform Judaism, accept both traditional and secular approaches to Bible studies. Jewish Commentaries on the Bible discusses Jewish Tanakh commentaries from the Targums to classical rabbinic literature, the Midrash literature, the classical medieval commentators, and modern-day commentaries. See also 613 Commandments, formal list of Jewish 613 Commandments 929, Tanakh Biyahad Bemidbar Parsha, Dead Sea Scrolls Hebrew University Bible Project Jewish-English Bible Translations Micraeo Gedolot New Jewish Publication Society of America Tanakh Non-canonical books referenced in the Bible Topic. Further reading Brugman, Walter An Introduction to the Old Testament, the Canon and Christian Imagination. Westminster John Knox Press. ISBN 978-0-664-22412-7. Johnson, Paul A History of the Jews 1st, Hardback ed. London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson. ISBN 0 297 79091 9. Kugel, James L. 1997. The Bible as It Was. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. ISBN 0 674 06940 4. Kuntz, John Kenneth. The People of Ancient Israel An Introduction to Old Testament Literature, History, and Thought, Harper and Rowe, 1974. ISBN 0-06-043822-3 Lyman, Sid. The Canonization of Hebrew Scripture, Hamden, C. T., Archon, 1976. Levinson, John. Sinai and Zion, An Entry into the Jewish Bible, San Francisco, Harper San Francisco, 1985. Minkoff, Harvey. Searching for the Better Text. Biblical Archaeology Review, online. Archived from the original on 14 March 2012. Retrieved 9 June 2011. Pritchard, James B. 1973. The Ancient Near East, Vol. 1 Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0691035016. An abridgment of ancient Near Eastern texts relating to the Old Testament Both, Martin. 
A History of Pentateuchal Traditions, 1948, trans. by Bernhard Anderson, Atlanta, Scholars, 1981. Schneiewand, William M. 2004. How the Bible Became a Book. Cambridge. ISBN 9780521536226. Schmid, Conrad. The Old Testament, A Literary History. Minneapolis, Fortress Press, 2012.